Hey guys, it's Erica. I don't know if this is going to be the finale episode or not. If it is, um, welcome to the finale. If it's not, it'll be the penultimate one to the finale of this main campaign. Um, after that, Frozen Wilds DLC. Haven't touched it yet. Excited to get to be able to explore that. We get a little bit more of this game after we get this. Um, so thank you guys so, so much for joining me. And let's get this final battle no way back, no way home, across the Spider-Verse. Kinda does feel like the end now that I know it's the end. It didn't until like right now. <laughs> it hit me. How could you sleep, Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you? How did you, Rost, after you lost your family? Aloy, don't make me cry. Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. <laughs> the looming shadow. Oh, crap, but then this is the final mission, because I had two more left. Wait. Ma'am? There are signs from the west. Sun King Avad awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. The face of extinction, girl. We are literally on the face of extinction. That's why it's called Horizon Zero Dawn. Because Zero Dawn is on the horizon once again. Name's coming. Little circle. It does really feel like I'm preparing for a battle moment. It's like the tone of this is very well done. This moment. Campfires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not wood smoke. Then what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. Aloy, don't say it like that! Girl, you're gonna put me in another- <gasps> I'm gonna have another existential crisis. A midlife crisis, again. It ain't about to be zero dot on my watch. It ain't about to be zero dot on my watch. There's like so many of them. I'm gonna die so many times. The Deathbringers you spoke of. To the guns. To the guns. Now. By the sun, do what she says. Set loaded. All of you, be ready to fire. <gasps> Will the guns hold them back? Me out. <gasps> oh no. Ew, no. <gasps> I can strike it from above. Strike it from above. Strike it from above. Peerless. No. Rally the vanguard. Send reinforcements. Aloy, no. We need those guns. He will cut you down. Not this time. Way to use that. You have fixed long enough. Should have fought me in a sun ring then. Why do you fight? What's up, Felicia? He's quick. Can I not set him on fire? God. I got that Wakanda forever, Arnold. Accept it. Accept your weakness. Oh, girl, why he's so fast? Come a little closer. Only endless night awaits you. And we. Ah! If the Death Bringers keep firing, the bridge. I'm in the fire. I'm in the fire. 
Oh, right. That took a lot of his health. Thank God I got this armor before. Owie. Hey, you can just die right now, because... Oopsies. Where is it? I can't... It wasn't selecting... Did I get him? There was like fire behind I me. I didn't know if I got him. Yes. This was not meant to be. Felicia! Like dropped! To be heedless. You made it happen. Followed your orders, butchered so many, and for what? Tell him! To die on your Tell face, him, Lord. used like a pawn by a power you don't even understand. You pity me? Kind of. Turn your face to the sun. Oh! <laughs> Alright, she's fully becoming to the woman she was always meant to be. She has the bars. Girl, I know it's hard, but we gotta... We gotta do this. Oh, he has high... Wait, he has kind of high modifications. <laughs> oh, look at me try to, like, uh, collect modifications at this time. Um, They seemed a little high to me, you know what I mean? So... Corruption ones, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't need that many corruption ones. Also, probably don't need this many handling ones. Okay, let me. Yeah. Oh God, where do I go? Which way do I go? Let me. Yeah. Okay. Yo, that new spear be crazy. Nutritious. Wee. All right, this may be the fin finale. This is the last part. Oh my word! It literally is the apocalypse. Hold the line. Where do you need me? Take up a camp. So they're kind of scary. So you know what? I'm going to go back and... Does this thing have, like, infinite ammo? Yeah. Oh, God. There we go. Why, I can't... It won't let me to get on the platform. Huh? Okay. All right.
Yeah, give me a gun. Come in. Oh, there's more Raise coming. Again. Oh, that's fine. Oh. 
All right. Oh, okay, there goes my health. It's almost dead. Oh my god. about Willis? All right, we'll get the one I wanted. Gotta get to another platform. We gotta go on this a little closer. What's up, homie? This is just waves and waves of enemies. A little bit higher. Yes. That was a good one. That should do it. Nice. Let me guess. From the south again. Oh no. Oh, but why are there more? No. That did feel slightly repetitive. <laughs> Let me overwrite it. Let me overwrite it. <gasps> it's right there, Aloy. Girl, if you don't wake up right now, if you do not wake up right now. Aloy. 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 Tab. My old mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they? No, no, wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Tab. I've got to go. How convenient that Aloy was just almost dead. Oh my god, what in the last of us part two? The island burning down is this? Wait, this came out before last of us part two. Oh god, if I was riding on a mount right now, I'd have the most insane flashbacks. Can I go this way now? This is where I belong, Aloy. But the spire calls for you. Aloy, go! We'll draw them. Alright. Now you face the truth, son of Shadow Demons. They got it. Whee! Through the water. Swim, 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 swim. Of course they would make me swim in the end. All right, look at all this fun. It's fun oh, health. Good thing I don't need it as bad if I... Can I just run by them? 
Yeah. <laughs> Girl, there's an exclamation point on the mission explanation. It says, I'll leave them be. This mission may not be super long then. I don't know. It's begun. Hades is transmitting. Stay, Aloy, if you would have woke up. Or just right there. Reach your staff. And absorb everything. But I guess it does make it more dramatic. several means of convenience in this game, I would say. But I guess it has to get this bad. That's it! Is that corruption? Oh, that's what he eats life. And gives me power? Ah! Ah! I see. I see. I see fully now. If Hades has started the signal, they must have gotten through the defenses. Venora. Baron's vanguard. I have to get up there. Yeah. M means of convenience. A little. It does feel a little bit that way. But I mean, if she were to just, like, stop and just, like, would have defeated Hades right there, it's kind of like, eh, you know what I mean? You gotta build the drama. You gotta work for it. Ah! Gotta keep going. Keep pushing. No, this wouldn't be easy. So no holding back. No holding back at all. All right, gotcha, Aloy. Let me see. Can I? Um, before we move on, can I? No, I need to go do the crafting. Where's my belt? This one? No, that's not my belt. This is my belt. Um, forty-five, forty-five. I don't have a stronger damage one. Damn it. Okay, I was kind of hoping for one. It's fine. Aloy! Alive. It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. <laughs> Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. And we're taking a moment Not to alone. talk to characters. It's my fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We we're about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. Hawk and Thrush, let's go. All right, I then. should stock up. Last chance. I guess they do have to make a way for me and my friends to come together for win this battle. I swear, if it's a thunder drop. Entity has been anticipated. Entity will not halt transmission. To contrary. Calculations are precise. Presence of entity has been accounted for. What? Nope. It's a death ringer. Okay, uh, ooh, I have these now. These are fun. I think you'll like these. A lot. This takes way too long to try and trip them up. I might need to get the trip cast going. 
after I sock him entirely. Or is it just wasting those? Yeah, that does not seem like it's working. Okay, um... Let's see how this works. Did it get removed? Is he overheating? Wait, can it- does overheat work? Oh yeah, fire does work. Look out, it's brought in reinforcements. Great. All of you, focus on the new machine! Yeah, let me do my thing. I need the tripcaster, man. I can't. It worked really well against him before. We got them. We've cleaned it out. Oh, there's a camp. I didn't even realize there's a timer. I can make some shock ones. The shock is not his friend. For when he gets moving again. Execute. The Deathbringer. It's focusing on you. Okay, not us. All right. Okay, I need to take out the big gun. Did I do it? I think I got that. Okay. Another line of defense down. Girl, I'm only doing two damage. Fire arrows, everybody. Fire arrows. Will you come into here? Don't let them overrun us. 
I set up a bunch of traps. Well, you know what? If he doesn't set up to the traps... The other machines can. Alright. Deathbringer gun right there. Okay. System threat imminent. I'm more than a threat. No, it's Elizabeth. Master Override Arm. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Purging Extinction Protocol. Well, there's our fail save. You might want to run, Aloy. <laughs> and all my friends are saved. Yay! Why do some of them look so gray? Just take the hug.
What? Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um... Like I, was saying, I know it's the same voice actress, but that sounds a lot more like Aloy than this Elizabeth. Electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV, so the grass caught fire, and uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there. Uh, I don't know. Epilogue. Maybe. I think it's a prologue earlier. Years. I meant epilogue. Query, you were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God. So she called the fire department, and after she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds because there were nests in the pine tree query what did you feel i'm not sure i remember yelling that i didn't care and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke query what did she say she said i had to care she said elizabeth being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. Facts. You have to use your smarts to count for something. To serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. Guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be. She wanted a daughter. It's gonna make me cry. And willful, unstoppable, even. But with enough compassion to heal the world. Just a little bit. That makes me emotional. Whoa. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. And she's I'll a middle flower. Tomorrow. Oh, that that made me emotional. Woo! Caught me at the end. A cauldron? Is this the end credits? End credits! I'll probably cut the music out. So, um, I was just hearing see my heater was gonna kick on. So it's only been me talking, just because a lot of the times this stuff does end up, like, copyrighted. So I cut it out anyways. Um, but, yeah, no, that end kind of got me. I mean, she found Elizabeth. She has a little ranch. Um, kind of makes sense for her and kind of hearing her say that she didn't want a daughter and how she wanted her was exactly what Aloy was. Oh, that makes me emotional because she never knew that's what she got, you know? And that she saved the world. <laughs> um, But yeah, I think the game is really, really great. It was, it came out in 2017, or I had the complete edition from 2017. So it may be... Um, 2016 is probably when it came out, or years before. Actually, I didn't even, I didn't even bother to check. I just have the complete edition of it. Um, so, well, this version of the game came out, so it's not wrong, but I'm not right. Also, um, I think it's a great narrative about sort of. Um, we don't see too many, I guess, with my generation, um, in terms of everybody just sort of wants to be an influencer or like do social media in some capacity clearly guilty of that in some capacity um myself but um like instead of using your brain to help the world because how many people do you know if you look left and right to your side your peers would make sacrifices like this i mean we never know if this situation ever comes to us but great the sort of i guess you can look how apocalypse narratives have changed over times um 
and the people who are willing to make the sacrifices, like, would you be willing to do it yourself? I don't think a lot of people these days would. So to get something that is a little bit more modern, um, that sort of weighs on that issue of, um, destruction and greed, um, and selfishness and murder and the end of days, you know, in this way, um, is very, very interesting, you know, and then also having like the apocalypse happen when it's already happened once before. I mean, there are theories out there in the universe, you know, that, um, oh, there goes my heater. Great. Hang on. I'm going to let the credits, oh, sorry, I was thinking what to do. I'm going to let the credits play while I get up and I turn off my heater, though. So I give me, like, one second to, like, try and get the noise to stop. One second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully it's not, like, well, it should shut off any second now, but I'm gonna keep talking so you're just not listening to silence and watching me just stare at you. Um, so I think it's really cool to have a narrative like this kind of a little bit more in, like, modern times, because it's not something that we see a lot, and if it is apocalyptic, it's, you know, kind of very popularly the last of a sort of situation where, um, you know, that covers a lot, uh, more different topics, um, well, it's, you know, it's about love, you know what I mean? The last of us. So, um, but something like this, um, kind of, you know, giving the ultimate sacrifices, um, and sort of finding who you are and understanding who you are and what that means and sort of fulfilling that is very, very interesting. The game it's, yeah, I like the game. The world building was really, really cool and amazing. It just took a while for me to kind of sit in and gather everything and understand everything because it just takes a while within this game like by the time you complete it you feel like you really completed the game in this world of this narrative and i know it now and we're gonna go into frozen wild again i will be playing the sequel i don't know exactly when um but sometime in the near future um and playing gta 5 next after frozen wilds dlc um so it'll be fun to be playing that um and have um it out there on my channel and like kind of me playing it the thing with like replaying games for my channel it's it's like getting to sort of experience it all over again because sitting in my room just quietly playing a video game that's one way to experience it but kind of sharing the experience with other people is a different one um so that's sort of mainly why i replay games a lot is like i get to share a little bit of my experience with you know other people and um, I hope it's enjoyable in some capacity. I think the game was fun. The gameplay was really great in here. I never really had too many issues. I just, the modifications kind of like, and the sort of base sort of weaponry that you do get and having to build it up, that's cool. And it's cool. It's customizable. But like, I kind of feel like I needed my weapons to have a lot more damage than they did. I don't know if anything goes higher than 50% modification. I feel like it should have, you know what I mean? Um... But, yeah, some parts of the plot were slightly out of convenience, like silence, I've copied all your data, and kind of a little bit there at the end, um, but it does make for a little bit of a more epic finale, um, it does itself, I don't, like, the ending, like, of course we know Aloy was going to do it, I mean, we know, um, not many video kids are just gonna end on, like, a bad note like that, but I will say I still think my favorite moment and the strongest moment are when Silence comes to rescue us, and I feel like the most kind of groundbreaking moment other than that was sort of learning everything with Gaia, um, in All Mother, and then going from All Mother into Gaia Prime and learning what happened to the Alphas. Those, I feel like, those three kind of events were, I feel like, the strongest in the game because that's when we had full understanding of things, um... For one, but also we're like the biggest impact um, in terms of everything because repeatedly having to take down machines throughout the entire game and then repeatedly having to take down machines at the end, it's kind of like, yeah, okay, I've done this a bunch of times before. I can do this again. Let me just, I have this armor that's not going to let me die sort of happen. You know what I mean? Um, so, well, we should be getting new machines then, right? Because they create 
guy they create machines based off what the world sort of needs so hopefully they're all friendly now um i mean i did kind of complete everything so they should be um but um yeah i mean it's it's a good game like for me personally in my personal taste like, again, like, I really enjoyed my time with it. I really love it. I love Aloy as a character. All the side characters are really great, too, as well. Um, I don't necessarily see myself doing a new game plus for this one, unless I'm truly missing the experience. Um, but, like, I also haven't done new game plus for Red Dead 2. Is that, is that even a new game plus? Can I even new game plus that? You should be able to, right? Um... But I still think it's really, really great. I can't wait to play the sequel, see where her story expands, see if, like, kind of the things about the slightly kind of repetitive nature of the finale. It just felt repetitive because I'm like, I've done this already so many times before. I know exactly how to do this. Like, if I followed the story very kind of, like, linearly and just did the story stuff without doing the side stuff and being a completionist, I may feel different about it. Um, but it did feel slightly repetitive there at the end, especially having to go through three waves of different enemies and Deathbringers, and then having to take down Deathbringer essentially by myself, you know what I mean? So, I don't know how they would have been able to change it up, but I think they did a great job um, with what they did anyways. I still think it's a great game. I'm so happy I got to experience it. I really did come to truly love it at the end, having truly understood everything. I just It was a lot of questions in the beginning, especially with worlds like this and environments like this that are just so different than like anything you can like perceive on your own just because it's society building itself again um still in very early stages you know what I mean so um but it was it was really really an enjoyable game I'm not mad I played it I'm happy I played it for my channel it was a great experience to have overall the game looks great the graphics hold up extremely well um it says me playing on playstation 4 pro um but yeah i think it's really really great it definitely has the same feel of a lot of open world games um and yeah overall just like super enjoyable voice acting was great throughout um some of the oh oh i bet there's sick cosplays out there you know there's probably some really sick ones now that I think about it, all the different armor, hell yeah. But I, I, I'm going to, um, all the babies, um, for sure, Frozen Wilds DLC. Um, I'm not going to try and, like, unlock every single thing, get every single data point or whatever. I feel satisfied with the experience that I did have, and I think it was worth the money I spent on it, having not paid full price for this game when it came out, um, but play, playing it, um, now in 2023, in December of 2023, um, I feel very satisfied with my experience overall. I wonder if... Uh, th thank you for making the game. It was a wonderful, beautiful experience, and I'm so happy I did it. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Frozen Wilds has for us, what um, Forbidden West contains, because I don't know anything, really. Um, oh my god, more credits. What do I talk about now? Um... <laughs> so many credits! I have to fill with everything. Um, but yeah, but I'm sure, like... Maybe certain mechanics that I didn't necessarily enjoy about, like, the game. Like, the slightly repetitive nature there. Because, like, again, I'm expecting, like, big epic finale. Seven thunder drops. Like, because I guess facing those same machines over and over again and knowing how to take them down and learning how to take them down. And it's not, like, by the time I kind of got here, having completed everything, um, and really kind of, there's no new weapon. The coolest thing was my newest outfit that I got. Uh, but maybe if I would have had, like, a new weapon at that point... Or, like, if that's the first time I use the Osram cannon, it would be a lot different. But the a lot of the, again, stronger moments, I feel like, just happen throughout the game. You know what? Maybe it's not the ending. It's about the friends we made along the way. Or what is it? It's not about the journey. It's the friends we made along the way. Maybe that's it. You know? Um, Ashley Birch. Amazing. Amazing. You're an amazing voice actress in of everything you're in. Um, but, yeah. I mean, everybody really did a great job with it, handling all the dialogue. And, um... Everybody did absolutely fantastic. So, uh, what happened to Ted though? What 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 happened with Mister Ted Farrow? Is Emma Frozen Wilds is about? I want to know because I need to personally fight him on like with my hands. He can catch these hands, girl, because he messed up not once, not twice. Humans make mistakes, and he made the biggest um, one there was. Um, but yeah, we have a full understanding of. Everything up to this point, you know? Um, so, 
Yeah, I feel like I fully, it's almost like, in a way, it sort of feels like a prequel to where you're like, okay, you have the full context, the full understanding for everything in this game. But it's, like, the end of it. That's what I will say. It slightly does feel like that. Um, but then again, but I don't, but then again, like, I don't know. Do, why do I feel that way? Do, is that even a valid f- way to feel? Feelings are valid. But is that a valid way to feel? Like, I think because I was just so slightly lost throughout it and just so curious and wanting to understand, like, every single thing. You know what I mean? That, like, um, fully understanding. I'm like, okay, I'm ready now to play the game. But I'm like... Maybe it was just about the journey we had along the way. Um, and I think Aloy's a great character. I think it's a really great game overall, for sure. Like, not mad at it at all. Like, I don't... Well, I want to say I played, like, bad games on my channel, but there are worse out there. Hello the day before? Girl, I've seen all the stuff. Um, <laughs> and Walking Dead Chronicles, girl. What? Um, or what? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Um... But, yeah, I mean, Telltale Game, Walking Dead, that's the best way to experience a Walking Dead narrative in a video game. Um, I'm gonna let the the credits roll. Um, But, yeah, overall, the game was fun. Just, overall, really enjoyed enjoyed it. The world building is really, really sick overall. I mean, looking at, like, even, like, without all this knowledge, what they were able to figure out and build just, like, based off there. And it does make you wonder, like, if you do give humans all the information in the world, does it um, help them later on to not make the same mistakes again? Girl, we have the info, we have Apollo in the palm of our hands, and it does nothing but drive us insane. So it may have been for the best to sort of, like, I see the, um, I see the, the good intention of it all, but in reality, it probably would have ended up the same way if Ted didn't do what he did, you know what I mean? And, I mean, society would have been completely different, you know what I mean? Um, and we're in the United States in some, uh, capacity, (laughs) uh, post-apocalyptic capacity, um, but, yeah, I'm excited to, dive into Frozen Wilds after this. It looks like there's probably a whole insane different cast of characters, which will be so much fun to, um, oh, Montana. Okay, we'll go to Montana. That's fun. Um, a lot of Banook. That'll be fun. Um, motion capture, love. Um, motion capture is so sick. I love it. They do crazy stuff these days with video games. Um, but yeah, and since, um, I don't have... I'm still not employed in my industry yet. Um, yeah, the just daily videos for GTA 5 are what you can expect next. Um, look, look at Neil Newborn was here. Where was he? Where was he? Oh, wait, it was motion capture, wasn't it? LMAO. <laughs> um, well, I guess motion capture is so specific, anyways. Um, but yeah, that's what's next. I don't exactly know what's next for after that. I don't know if I want to play Red Dead. <laughs> Redemption, the original one, because it did recently get released for PS4. Um, so it'll be dope to go and revisit that again. I've been kind of wanting to play Dead Space just because, like, it's Dead Space, you know what I mean? And I've never played it myself. Um, but by the time I finish GTA 5, I don't know what's gonna be out for video games, you know. Alone in the Dark will be out, but I can't play because that's a PS5 um thingy. Um, I've wanted to go like I've wanted to play the Batman games. Um because I've never played them. I've watched people play them, but I've never played them myself. Um, kind of. I feel like I've watched, like, I've seen parts here and there. You know what I mean? Um, I've wanted to play Spider-Man because I've never played Spider-Man. Um, you know? So, just, I want to play so many video games. <laughs> and and why not record myself playing them? It's it's It makes the experience, like, enjoyable to be able to share it again. Um, but, yes, this game was fantastic i really really enjoyed it and the credits will never end they will never end um but yeah i think the side missions were really well done again my more care in the narrative was for the um anything to do with like elizabeth any old world stuff like the current world building stuff again it's really really cool to dope but i personally found myself more attracted to those sort of storylines so there at the end when she's elizabeth um, or when, um, like, uh, she destroys Hades or whatever, like, that part I found interesting about the finale, um, but, 
yeah, like that's definitely where I was more deeply invested into the narrative personally, and that was all entirely concluded. So maybe I slightly feel that like my personal experience, what I wanted most out of it, maybe ended a few parts ago when um after kind of Gaia Prime a little bit. Um maybe that's how I slightly feel. Maybe, you know. Um, but I think it was a nice little prologue, you know what I mean? Um and it, it kind of just like it it like hurts a little bit to be just like Oh, Miss Elizabeth Sobek, if you would have known, if you would have known what was the future could entail, what it could hope, your dreams, your visions for the future and humanity and how you felt about it. Aloy, Aloy exists, uh, your daughter of sorts. Um, But yeah, I think it was great. It was a really interesting narrative, sort of learning all of that and unpacking it was really cool. Um, and it was interesting to kind of, I think they did a good balance of sort of tackling kind of both things. I mean, if you have this historic event that happened um, and it sort of resulted in this, you know, kind of um, everything kind of felt nicely balanced between both of them. You know what I mean? Like in terms of... Um, try to balancing those two uh, you, you essentially have many narratives happening currently in this world that are happening and then you have this whole thing which only i and silence understand you know i speaking as if i'm aloy um so you know trying to um like trying to balance like the narrative when you have these two kind of things happening i think they did a fantastic job with it here's the thing i don't know if frozen wilds will have any other backstory like that because i mean we got it all so um yeah i wonder if they'll make a third game i mean it, i i don't know how the second game ends so um that would definitely be the defining factor for that but if it is i will play it i'm not mad at playing them i'm not mad to purchase these games um full price you know what I mean? Um, it is definitely something that I um, enjoy deeply. Um, and I look forward to playing the next game. Um, and uh, the DLC. Because we're not done. We are not done yet. We're not done yet. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, so this should come out. Girl, I don't even know when. I think I mix up my dates because I have so many like... I have like parts, I have I have like three parts already uploaded, just scheduled videos, three or four actually, and then I have stuff I've edited but not uploaded, so like my days are all kind of like, you know, kind of messed up, but like, um, I don't think it'll take me to the end of the year, I don't think so, because I don't know, well, it depends on how long the DLC is, you know, some are like a good seven, eight hours? I wouldn't expect it to be like 10 or anything like that. Oh, did you hear the Last of Us multiplayer game was scrapped? Oh my god, are you shook it? Me? No. I mean, if they were going to do it, they were going to release it with part two. You know what I mean? Um, Which a lot of people say, like, I know a lot of people really, really loved that part of the first game. It just felt kind of like a little side thing. But, like, I know a lot of people really enjoyed playing that Um first game's multiplayer like it was fun there was a lot there to really have fun with um I was says me who didn't play it but watched um gamers do it well I'm sure the servers are shut down for the first game anyways um but um yeah that's kind of like again if they were gonna do it they're gonna do it again once I get a PlayStation 5 I will play the PS5 version of The Last of Us Part 2 especially if there's like lost levels um within there um plus it's also i don't know how many times i would have played it at this point like five or six honestly um but if there's like sort of new additional stuff in there it does make it um that much stronger of like a desire to replay um versus sort of well and then i mean the thing is like i just kind of replayed it this year like few months ago on my channel, um, or several months ago on my channel, so kind of, like, replaying something again, I'm, like, I kind of, I'll revisit it when I miss it, you know what I mean? Maybe, like, before the second season, um, just to be fresh with the whole narrative about, you know, everything, um, like, I played Last of Us Part 1 for the first time, like, about a year before the first season came out, and then I replayed it again for my channel, um, 
so that's that. And then, yeah, I think by the time that they, um, I don't know, a trailer or, like, announce the date for, like, Last of Us Season 2, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't expect, I mean, they could make a movie out of this or, like, here's the thing with, like, adapting video games, um, they, you spend so much time with characters, you know what I mean? Um, you spend, especially something like this, especially something like Red Dead Redemption, GTA, anything like that, when you're spending, like, 40 hours with a character, and you have all this character development coming up, and you have all these little minor sort of interactions that you're just like, that one matters, you know what I mean? So really adapting it to the big screen or to a TV show, you know, that's a very, that's a challenge. I mean, how many episodes was The Last of Us? Like, how many, wait, let me check my HBO Max. How many episodes was The Last of Us? Which I think they did a great job. I mean, other than kind of wanting more liquor stuff, or not liquor, I have played too much Resident Evil, other than wanting, um, more infected stuff in, um, that uh, wanting more, like, infected in the first season, because they said they're gonna do more in the second season, but, like, the whole narrative, like, they do really matter in the second game, but, like, again, the narrative, the narrative, the, it, it much suits them being much more of a threat within the first one, which they touched on a little bit. The clicker scenes were really great, um, but there was, uh, Nine episodes. Yeah, so you go from... How much is... How long is the first game? Like, 20 hours, maybe? Go from 20 hours with the character, you cut that down in about half. I wonder if they're gonna... They have to double. I wonder... Well, again, it's like... I hope that they take the sort of narrative... <laughs> that the game takes. I feel like that's... I don't know how to experience that game any other way. If you... I, I mean, there are, like... I th I might have said theories in my review um, about how you could structure the second season of it. Um, but, like... Um, and, and the telling of it. But I think how they do it may be the way you have to tell it also for television. Because, um, yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's it's their struggle not mine um but this one it would be cool but like I feel like you know spending so many times so many hours with a character getting to know them sometimes knowing their inner thoughts um literally being them in a video game kind of transferring that to tv doesn't always work very well I mean really good video game adaptations I mean obviously lots of us um Super Mario Brothers, again, I just watched that tonight, so, um, that one was really good, really fun, but it's, like, it's kind of, like, and I haven't, like, I don't know exactly how, uh, well, yeah, I would say the personalities of the characters really match them in, like, the games or whatever, but, like, sort of taking that one where you could spend just, like, hours doing, like, a platformer type of game, you know what I mean? That's, like, so different than characters that you deeply love and care about, you know what I mean? Um... Like, again, I would love a live-action Red Dead Redemption series, but, again, trying to, like, 40 episode seasons. 40 episodes, or, like, I need the first game to be, like, four seasons, and I need the second game to be, like, six seasons. Like, dead ass. I'm like, I, it's not enough time with them. It's not, you know, to truly understand who they are as characters and people and, like, just truly, like, because you feel like you know somebody so much, um with it and but then um, but then like everybody makes like three hour long movies and then you're like another three hour long movie um but hopefully i know they're making a ghost of tsushima one um you know i they did such a beautiful job with that video game that's my favorite video game um personally um so kind of um uh i hope that they do it justice and then there better not be a white man in there there better not be a white man in there. There's that Shogun series on FX, which I am very intrigued about. But there's a white man. There's a white man in that one. Um, but yeah. Oh, there's also... I saw something for another samurai video game. Of course, it's just much triggered all the samurai content. Um, well, probably not necessarily, but, you know, it probably was a, um, a factor in it. Um... I forgot what it was called. It's it's something during the Tokugawa era, though. So that's it's a completely different era of Japan than uh, the Mongol invasion. 
hundreds of years, girl. Um, but yeah, I saw that. So, um, I mean, depending on how that, if, I don't know if I'll play that one, uh, depending on what type of game it is. Um, and obviously Assassin's Creed is supposed to be in Japan at some point. Um, that'll be interesting to see what they do with it. Because I mean, I feel like Assassin's Creed games are pretty solid, like overall with their concepts and sort of, um, what they, um, uh, and uh, sort of like their historical accuracy is pretty good. You, you're seeing every single country's characters and it's fine every like as somebody who works in the film and television industry i'm letting the credits roll girl i'm letting them roll five nights at freddy movie was so good i really liked it it was definitely for the fans um tons of like easter eggs in there so that was a really great i feel like adaptation of it and a really kind of nice setup for you know sequel stuff based on like a lot of the lore of that game so they did a good job with that one i mean we know previously tomb raider those are fun I, I have a deep appreciation for the Tomb Raider movies because I love, for one, love Angelina Jolie. Two, um, just the whole 90s, early 2000s action movie. Give it to me. Bring it back to me. What happened to those movies? You know what I mean? Like, what are we... Like, so many... There's just so many indie movies these days. So many indie movies, which, like, I do love. But I also hate because working on them is not always the most fun. Um... But a lot of, like, today's legendary filmmakers are kind of, like, on more indie stuff versus, like, these massive big budget action movies, you know what I mean? And they're only kind of given to, like, people who um, deserve them um, in the, that way. But, like, I mean, work is work and it sucks either way. Um, but, yeah, so... Five Nights is good. The Gran Turismo movie, which is coming to Netflix. It's probably out on Netflix that this part came out. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's a really good movie. It's much it's much more sports um, stuff. And if you like racing movies, if you like cars, you'll probably really like that one as well. Um, but that was a good adaptation as well. Um, I mean, we're seeing toys be adapted into um, movies, television shows, not original IPs like this one. Um, um and I do think it's really cool to experience your favorite sort of whatever it is, whether it's a video game, whether it's a toy, whether it's a movie, a book, or whatever, adapted in many different ways. I think that's cool. You know what I mean? But then it's almost like it's very, very safe because you can guarantee you get somebody's money. You know what I mean? Because um, even if you're a fear fan, you're going to go watch it. Um, but I don't know how well they could do something like this. Because, I mean, it would be entirely CGI, girl. You're telling me and if they could get those machines looking weird? Like, honestly, Transformers, the first movie, holds up pretty well. It does hold up amazingly well, the CGI for that. Um, I, I, I've i watched it maybe earlier this year, so maybe my memory is fading, and I'm, I have such a deep love for that movie. Literally, we bought it. We got, like, a, phys we had a physical copy of it, and we watched it, like, seven times in, like, a week. You know, the, like, when we first got, like, the DVD for it, like, oh my, or, like, three days. I don't know how many times me and my brother watched it, but we were so into it. Um, so, yeah, it'd have to be something like that. Um, but then again, like, would, especially balancing the two narratives, I don't know if a TV, if a movie would work. Like, some stuff deserves TV shows, but then again, some stuff doesn't deserve adaptations. Like, there, I think there's such a beauty in playing video games and it's it's like the most immersive experience we have um minus like vr um playing um experiencing stories and experiencing narratives so and um you know sort of becoming the hero yourself of video games you know what i mean um so i don't i kind of don't find a better way to experience narratives than that and i mean up until Earlier this year, you couldn't experience Last of Us any other way. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, obviously watching like people on YouTube or whatever. <laughs> what you're doing right now, if you're still watching. Who's still watching the credits at this point? I don't know. Um, if you are, comment a thumbs up. Yeah. Do, do a thumbs up in the comments if you're still watching to this point. Um, but yeah, and I mean like experience, like thinking about experiencing... If I was experiencing like the Red Dead Redemption narrative for the first time, I don't think anything besides the video game really does that justice. You know what I mean? Um, the evolution of, especially just like the pacing of it and just the slow, slow sort of like decline of everybody was just like beautifully done. Be that's why I need like 10 seasons. That's why I need 10 seasons. And I know exactly where I would break them 
off. And of course, it would go Red Dead 1, Red Dead 2 storytelling, because you can't really do it the other way, because that's the way I experienced it, so I don't know any other way to do it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, will we ever get a good Resident Evil movie? No. Uh, well, okay, the animated ones? The, like, computer-generated uh, ones? Pretty good. I watched Death Island, because it was on Netflix, and that was really good. I liked that one. That was fun. Um, but in terms of live action, I mean, there was so much hope for Welcome to Raccoon City. And it did have good parts about it. There were good elements about it. But it just was not. was not. You know what I mean? The Mortal Kombat movie, I thought it was fun. It was alright. Like, it's not, like, the best thing ever. But, like, I mean, obviously, the Scorpion and Sub-Zero stuff was, like, literally everything because it's literally everything every time I play it but like um that was like kind of the strongest parts of the entire game um but yeah what other video game movies are there I didn't like I didn't even think about the new Mortal Kombat I was thinking about the old Mortal Kombat because I was thinking about Resident Evil so I was thinking about 90s <laughs> video game movie adaptations um but yeah I mean most of the stuff. I don't know if I work on too many, like, original content for movies. Like, the one that I was, um, that I got interviewed for, that one is based off a book. Um, the other, the TV show, that that's a movie based off a book. The TV show I was working on is a movie based off a book series. Another series I worked on was based off a book series. Um, <laughs> so it's like, everything I do is, like, adapted by books. You know what I do want to see, though? The author who wrote um, All the Pretty Horses, his books are so good. Like, if you if you do take down and you do read them, they're, like, amazing. You might need to know Spanish a little bit. Just, like, a little bit. You can kind of pick up on it a little bit or, like, get you with Google Translate or whatever. But he also wrote, like, No Country for Old Men. So you can imagine how good his books are. Oh, they are so delicious. They are chef's kiss. I love, I love No Country for Old Men so much. It is such a good movie. I need to watch it again. I do. I was also watching, kind of like, if I have nothing to watch, like if I've listened to all my podcasts, if I watched all my TV shows, I'll put on like Wonder Woman. I'm kind of working my way through that one. Um, Because I just needed something I could turn my brain off to, essentially. But I did watch a little bit more of Sweet Home. And again, it just is like a completely different show. I'm like in the middle of episode six now. Um... It's just a completely different show than what it was for the first season. So it's just like the jump between that was kind of crazy. But now that I'm like into it, I'm like, girl, we're into it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of feeling it now. Like, I'm caring about the characters. But where's Song Kong? Where's Song Kong? Because he is literally the lead. And like, he's like, hasn't been in like three episodes. I swear to God. Um, Up to this point. So it's it's strange what they're doing with that. And they're making a third season. So I have to finish the first one and say my full thoughts about that but um also after that I'm gonna watch Singles Inferno season three but I want to finish Sweet Home before I watch Singles Inferno that's like okay the credits didn't really finish there uh chill with that don't Or is this like the setup? Is this a setup for Forbidden West or just like. Silence! Hello, old friend. Remember me? Are you kidding me? We've still so much to discuss. So much you never revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. Silence, what are you doing? Can't trust that man. I don't know why I ever trusted him. With that attitude. I should have never when he had when he started being sassy to me again, I know I shouldn't have trusted him. I know I shouldn't have trusted him. So is that setting up Frozen Wilds or is that setting up Forbidden West? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. I can find out if it's Frozen Wilds or not. Um, 
but that damn silence. That damn silence. I don't think the credits finished there. That was kind of weird. There was still the logo that was like not even done. Um, what were we talking about before? I lost my train of thought what we were talking about because the silence distracted me by making me angry. Um, what were we talking about? I know we're talking about like video game movies. I always try and keep like video uh, TV shows. Singles Inferno. It's one of those. Um, it's a Korean dating reality sort of situation. It's very Korean. Um, but it's like slightly in the category of like I can turn my brain off, but I have to pay attention because I have to read the subtitles. But then also I'm kind of not paying attention to Sweet Home very much. <laughs> I have to rewind a little bit because I'm like, wait, did something significant happen? Um, so, like, it's slightly turn-off-the-brain sort of show for me, which is great. Congratulations on defeating Hades and re protecting Gaia's dream of an Earthborn. The state of the world has been restored just before the looming shadow. Prior to the final battle for Meridian, you keep all loot and experience from your successful playthrough. Additionally, New Game Plus has been unlocked, granting the option to play the game again from the beginning with all the loot and skills you have accumulated throughout this playthrough. A New Game Plus loadout of your current inventory and skills has been created. To play this mode, simply choose the New Game Plus option in the menu. Main menu, you can also create new uh, loadouts via the pause menu in the game. Hey, look at us. How many skills do I have? I got one. Girl. Okay, well, I mean, there's probably additional levels with the, uh. Huh? Oh, the, oh, I guess, like, if you're playing the game. Like, I, we've done it, but, like, it, it sort of resets you before this final mission. Okay, that's, that's fine. Um, but with, like, every, all the progress. Okay, yeah, that's what that message was. Um, yeah, next up, we are going to, um, continue on with 92%. Is it because I didn't do... 21 main story missions. It's because I don't have the frozen wealth progression? Or, and you know what? It's probably like all the outfits and all the weapons and stuff. That's probably what it is that I haven't gotten them. Because I've gotten everything else in the game. So, um, yes, all we have left for us to do is into the frozen wilds. The frozen wilds DLC. Stay tuned. I don't know how many hours it is, but we're going to be clocking uh, several more parts. We are not done. We are not done over here. We got some DLC we gotta play. Um, but yeah, and then um, I don't know what that whole silence f uh, thing was setting up. I'm not I'm not sure, but if I see him, he can catch these hands. I might punch him as Aloy if I can, because he's just... Uh. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching this series. Again, we are not done. We still have Frozen Wilds to play. Excited to finish out the game with that. Um, so yeah, it is not the end, but just the beginning. It is the end though. Um, it is the beginning of Frozen Wild. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me for the series. I'm really interested to know your thoughts about the game. Um, just in general, you know what I mean? Or any other things I'm talking about during the credits trying to fill in time. Um, but yes, I had so much fun playing this. I think it's a great game. Again, I don't necessarily see myself doing New Game Plus, um, but I definitely see myself playing the sequel, and I'm, I would have not been mad if I paid full price for this when it came out. Because again, I, I bought this this year, so it's not full price, um, and it's a complete edition of it. But not mad at all. It was a wonderful experience. It was a beautiful experience. I'm happy I had the experience, um, and yeah. We are still playing this, and I'm still excited to play more. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Put your thoughts in the comments down below what you thought about the main story. We're about to get into Frozen Wilds next. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I genuinely enjoy playing this, and I genuinely appreciate any of the support. If you do decide to share with my channel, like, share, and subscribe. It really does help out a small channel like mine tremendously when you decide to show any of the support. And I genuinely thank you guys so, so much. Genuinely love you guys as well. So please join me for Frozen Wilds. If not, please join me for GTA 5. Or join me for whenever I play Forbidden West. Um, yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you all so, so much. And I will see you in Frozen Wilds. Bye.